Hello, I'm going to do another tutorial on um, movable shapes and doing the one, four, five chords like we did last time for Louie Louie. If you didn't catch that, you can go back and look at my um, video from last Friday. Uh, I don't know what number it was, but uh, probably around uh, 18 maybe. And I've got a longer tutorial that shows how to move the chords up and down the neck on the A shape and the F shape. So. You can still watch this one, but that might be a good base for you first. So anyways, last time we moved, we played um, Louie Louie. Here it is on the F string again. So we've got... And that was going with the F shape I wrote on this column here. The one chord, which was like the open position. And we slide up to the fifth fret. And then we slide up to the seventh fret to be the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. And in the key of F, that's F, B flat, and C are the three chords you're playing. So that works fine. There's a couple of things we can do, um, a couple of reasons we might want to improve it. Number one is the sound of the chord. If, when you're singing Louie Louie or you want to be like the recording, it kind of goes da 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 Da, 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 da. The notes are pretty close together. That's the top note of the chord that you kind of hear in your ear when you when you're singing it. And in this case, it's like da 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 da, da. which would be an A, <laughs> B flat, C, which are the names of the chords. When we play them the way we were doing it before, we kind of had when we go up here. Those are the notes that you play on your A string that kind of ring out. It's a, we call that inversion. The chord is like the same notes, but flipped around in a different order so that the highest note is not the root note of the chord. It's a different note in the chord. It's not wrong, but it sounds a little bit more like a mini mouse, right? We're going da 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 We want it to sound a little bit more like this. Da 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 So that's what we're going to work on. Um, the other reason we want, might want to switch around is because this little scheme, while it was kind of um, useful and uh, works, we can only use it if with the A shape going up the neck and then the F shape going up the neck. You can't really do any more unless you have another movable shape, which there are other ones. They're harder to play. Um, so we're going to use these same shapes, but do it a little differently. So now the three chords again were F, B flat, and C. So we can look over on this, we can cross columns too. So if we do the F here, B flat's actually just one fret up, but it's the other shape. And then the C is two frets up from that. So we're gonna use this shape. We got the F chord with the F shape, and then we're gonna go to the A shape on fret on bar on fret one to make the B flat chord. And then that same A shape on with the bar on fret three. Let me show you slowly, okay? So we got our F chord. Remember, you're going to finger it not like, not with these two fingers, but with the middle two fingers because this is, you're going to need this guy to be your bar, okay? So there's your F chord. Now we're going to slide up, but you have to change your shape also to the A shape, okay? That makes your B flat chord. You probably recognize that if you're like, think about it for a second. Oh yeah, it's a B flat chord. And now we're going to slide that shape up two frets. And that makes our C chord. And then we slide back down two frets. And then we go back to the F chord. So you gotta switch your finger back over. So let's do that a few times together, okay? So we've got F is open. You got your bar. The, imagine we're gonna be using this in a different in a different fret in a second to make the bar, but that guy's free for a second. So we got F. Slide up to B flat. Slide up two more. Back down. Switch back to F. A shape on the one, A shape on the three, A shape on the one, one more time, F, switch to A shape, fret one, fret three, one again. Okay, now the great thing about this is now that we have that pattern, we can move it uh, to a bunch of different keys. Like instead of starting on F, we're just going to start on F sharp, which is the F shape with the bar on the first fret. Okay, now we don't even need to know the names of the chords that are going to be in this uh, in this uh, chord progression because we just can memorize the pattern. If you did want to know, 
we'd go, okay, F sharp is the first one, then we slide over here, so it's a B, and then we go up to, to a C sharp. So it's F sharp, B, C sharp. Eh, you might wanna know that, you might not. <laughs> we just wanna make it sound good. So we're gonna be bar with the F shape. And we slide up and switch to the A shape. Slide up two more frets. We're at four now. Back to two. And then one with the F, sh F shape, so that's F sharp. Two with the A shape. Up two frets to four. Back down two frets to two. So again, that's F shape. Slide up into A shape. Slide up two more. Oops. Slide back. Oops. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's slide it up again. We're going to start on the second fret. This is a G chord. Um, again, if we were going to follow what the names of the chords are, if we want to know, it's G, and then you're up one over to the A shape to C, and then D back to C. Da 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 da. Okay, let's play that starting on a G. So bar fret two, make your F shape. That's a G chord. Slide up and switch to A shape. Slide up two more. Back down. Okay, so now we've already done it in three keys. We can just keep going. We can play, let's jump up. Let's jump up to the fifth fret. We're gonna do it really high here. So the fifth fret, would be B flat, we're going B flat to D sharp, otherwise known as E flat, B flat, E flat, and then F fell off. We didn't even carry on that far, but we're gonna go up the, so fifth fret with our F shape. We're getting fancy up here. <laughs> so same thing though, just slide up one and move to A shape, slide up two more, slide back. And you could keep going. I don't know how high up you're going to go up the neck, but if you wanted to go on the 10th fret, it gets a little, it depends how long your neck is. And then it gets a little harder to squish in here. The frets get kind of small. But that, that's, a great, um, that's a great tool for moving between those three chords. Uh, next week, I will use those same three chords, and we're just going to do the 12-bar blues uh, with those three chords, the same thing, one, four, and five chord, but I'll teach you about how to do that pattern, and then that helps you like join a blues jam, and there's a lot of songs like that you might want to play along with. Okay, have a great week. Bye-bye.